Wolf game this, wolf game that. What is wolf game? Is it a Ponzi? Well, no one knows because the game isn't released yet, and the detailed mechanics are not even known. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a white paper that you can see on their website here, but it doesn't really dictate if the games will become a job, like do you have to do something every day, or if it's a straight up Ponzi. We don't know, this, we don't know the mechanics yet. Uh, let's jump into this because I've been down this road before and uh, I don't know. So I'm always a little skeptical when it comes to see some of this stuff, you know, that, that's pretty much me. Uh, I played a game, my first got into NFTs, I put a lot of money into this game called Polyfarm app. It was kind of the same thing as Wolf Game, I don't know if it was a clone, um, but it was just on Polygon, same idea, same concepts, same, uh, same items, you know, they had foxes instead of wolves, they had chickens instead of sheep, we laid eggs instead of wool. Uh, there's relics in uh, Wolf Game, and, and then in Polyfarm, there was artifacts, there was land, and you know what? It was great. It was a, f it was a fantastic thing, but we got rugged. We got, a s we got rugged. But listen, that isn't to say that it's going to happen here, uh, but what, why the rug happened is was there was a breakdown in mechanics. The mechanics in Polyfarm app, you know, season one had the, uh, what, the bonding curve where you, you mint... You have a ch you mint some with the with the egg currency, and if you you pretty much have a ninety percent chance of getting, uh, you have an eighty percent chance of getting a chicken. You have a ten percent chance of getting a fox, and you get ten percent chance of, of getting stolen by a fox. So a little bit of a gambling, and it was intense. It was super fun. Everyone, was, the community was great. That's what happened in Wolf Farm, uh, Wolf Game. It was good. Uh, now, season two came along in Poly Farm, and what happened? Well, we got a lot more complicated. There was a bunch of like mini games, which mini games are coming out in Wolf Game. Um, and then there was like a town that you had to go to, uh, the land. But there's a bunch of stuff. It got super complicated, but it didn't really do anything. Like you build buildings on your land and you start farming stuff, but that was it. You know, and then I, you basically what everybody did is just take all of the eggs and you started getting another token and you just swap it for ETH right away. So, you know, one of those downward tailwind dives uh, for coin for coin prices. So I'm not saying that that's going to happen with Wolf Game, but it has very similar vibes. And I've always wondered, I've always wondered, here's a hot take. If Wolf Game, well, Wolf Game, we don't know if it's Beanie or not, right? And so it could be. But it might not be. But maybe it came out at the same time. So this is November. No Wolf Game came out. But uh, Polyfarm came out maybe late November last year. Late December. That's when I got into it over Christmas break. Basically one year ago today. Uh, but I was always curious. Here's the hot take. Is if, okay, the owner, what if it was Beanie? Say it was Beanie. Um, that started Wolf Game. What if he went out and started a whole bunch of other games in, uh, that had similar mechanics to learn from them? Pulled a rug once everything, you know, happened or if it, it didn't work out. Now he's applying all of these into Wolf, all of those fail, failed games into Wolf Game. So maybe there's a chance this is going to be pretty successful. I like Wolf Game. The graphics are good. Uh, it's a little unknown. There is some key man risk there. You know, the shepherd, no one knows who the shepherd is. Um, and everybody's betting on these big, the wolves are worth seven to nine ETH or some stuff. And they were worth that when ETH was 4K. So, it's a lot of money to bet on something that you don't know is going to work. You know, Polyfarm app, you needed more people to join in, um, and or else the ecosystem would just die. Like, if you don't have fresh money in there, it's you're out. So, we'll see if that mechanic's going to change. But I was listening, I was watching the Discord last night, because I listened to GM Web 3. They talked about it quite a bit. So, they talked about uh, web, web uh, Wolf Game, and... Uh, it was interesting. They were talking about it's a bit more of a risk-on game. It wasn't necessarily all about this and that. Uh, new new blood, new money. <laughs> Sorry, I just paused and uh, this this gif was pretty good. They do have great gifs, man. I don't, uh, their graphics are super good. Um, either way, you know, it was there's some people questioning uh, the mechanics, and this, some of the same questions that happened in Polyform are in the Discord, and I was like, and everyone's just hating on them, and I was just like, man, this is very similar, I don't know, I put a lot of money in that Polyform, uh, and she's all gone now, that website, funny enough, the domain, polyform.app or something, whatever it was, expired like two days ago, which is a coincidence in the timing, um, you know, tinfoil hat stuff here, maybe I'm a little, uh, Maybe I'm a little, I don't know, what are you going to call it? Well, getting cam, butt hurt, about Polyfarm. I put a, a good chunk of change into it. Um, 
and here we are. So, anyways, it's something to look after, look forward to. I am going to keep a close eye on Wolf Game. The mechanics are complicated. It's tough to explain and for someone to understand. Uh, it's quite easy once you get into it. But, you know, if, if it's going to go the same way or if there is some sort of mechanic that keeps, you know, people interested in this game in the long term, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at it. But, you know what? I'm asking how to short it as well. And NFT perps, I don't know. It wasn't open to the public. Uh, I don't know about short and NFTs yet, but maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's my take on Wolf Game. Uh, graphics are good. Key man risk. The shepherd is the is the gay key guy. Uh, unknown the, the mechanics you don't know. Um, it's it's pricey. You know when when we knew when Polyfarm knew that it was gonna go into tailwind. Man, it was it was it was quick and people lost a lot of money. Um, but w w you know the one thing Wolf Game has they've done a lot of good stuff. They've done they've done it. You know they've done some good work in the past and they've been successful so interested to see what ha how this develops hey if you enjoy this stuff hit that subscribe button we're gonna jump into a crypto market summary where we keep a finger on the pulse of crypto just kind of understand what's going on taking a look at some stuff here so listen if you're new here uh this is what we're gonna look at we're gonna look at a bunch of cool stuff <clears throat> it's usually just a quick mar market recap is what we're looking at here so kind of cover everything uh eth price down market cap for uh cryptocurrencies are down um we're down a good chunk we're, we've been kind of hovering around this eight, 830 billion 840 billion for a while now it's quite low uh and then we look at shitcoin volume so what's going on on shitcoins a couple i heard i thought there were some rugs that came out over here i don't i don't know i haven't played in shitcoins in a while i like tracking them uh i always thought that uh you know down here in the bottom left you can kind of see some of the volumes on where is it here you can kind of see down here uh some of these volumes before it was always a two every two days we'd have a big spike in volume and then once ftx collapsed it was done and then you know what the big thing was is like the volumes were crazy on the on the binance chain so and everyone was always so sketchy to buy stuff on binance chain because it was all super sketchy um for shit coins new pairs was FTX part of that? I don't know. I could, you know, are we seeing some signatures over there? Could uh, NFT volumes? What are we seeing here? We're at 37 million again. Blur is leading the pack. Um, Blur is leading the pack on NFT volumes with their air farming bullshit, uh, airdrop bullshit. Sorry, and whatever. Uh, you can almost take that out. The rest is kind of we're up a little bit, but not a whole bunch. Oil prices, what are we seeing? Oil prices, oil prices are climbing up a little bit, except in Europe, man. Europe, natural gas climbing down. Interesting. Um, this does affect, you know, s inflation and uh, some of the wider idea of uh, the macro environment. So, cost of everything is really boiled down to this. Cost of everything, cost money to transfer everything. And then this is the cost of money. So, these are the bonds. You're kind of seeing that 10 to 2 year spread. For two years, kind of hanging steady. Uh, down a little bit on the 10 year, but that's kind of what we're looking at and then nft floor prices i can't wait to get the new thing i'm building this uh i'm building this this market this market but they're not marketplace uh this dashboard with that has all this stuff and the nft uh the nft f tracking one is gonna be sick can't wait to have it done uh it's taking some time it's taking some time i've been talking about it for a while but basically what we do is look at the floor price of all of these nfts and then we sum those up to kind of have a little bit of a uh, a looksy a looksy do um basically the same as yesterday we're going to see some stuff come up and down here uh proof came down quite a bit what why not oh probably kennels board ape kennel yeah those are crazy um Wreck guys at 0.78. Okay, rugs came back down. Good. I wanted to buy some at 0.29. It would have been nice. Uh, yeah, consortium keys back up. Man, I can't believe this emit one is that low. That's crazy. Anyways, that's what we're looking at. If you liked, glad you guys listen. Have a good day. Take care.